light, flexible and strong. Carbon fibres are being built as a revolutionary alternative to the steel skeleton which gives reinforced concrete its stability. Manfred Kurbach is a civil engineer. He and his team at Dresden's Technical University have developed so-called textile concrete. They've been comparing its performance to steel concrete. So far, the results have been promising. Carbon fibers are basically too soft to be able to add them directly to concrete. So, after they've been woven together, they're given a coating to stiffen them. And the fibers in the weave are adjusted for maximum tensility, so they'll perform optimally in the concrete. These individual fibers form the basis of the concrete. Up to 50,000 of them are combined to form a yarn. It's then processed on an automated loom to produce woven mesh. The new concrete's textile interior emerges from a myriad of fine threads. Next, the researchers add another coat to the mesh. That increases stability. 15 minutes later, the piece is cut to length. Concrete is a mixture of cement, sand and water. A special mixture is created containing very finely ground cement, as well as other ingredients. This fine mixture is used to produce thin sheets of textile concrete. The sheets are much lighter and more robust than standard reinforced concrete. First, the millimetre thin layer of fine concrete is transferred to a form, spread evenly and finished. The carbon mesh is then added and encased in a further thin layer of concrete. Finally, the finished sheet of textile concrete has to harden for 24 hours. Textile concrete costs less in terms of material and energy, so making it produces fewer emissions. The big question is, how much force can the concrete withstand? Such tests need to be carried out in a lab. Architects and surveyors need this information when they're planning projects. The scientists increase the load on a girder until it reaches its breaking point. The first cracks appear, but the carbon material inside can withstand immense force. The test shows that textile concrete is six times more robust than conventional reinforced concrete. But even if the new material does boast impressive characteristics, it's not indestructible. To get approval for constructing the first bridge made of textile concrete, we had to load a test version to breaking point so that the authorities could see what it would bear. Afterwards, we repaired the test bridge provisionally, and we now exhibit it here. The insights garnered from the tests have enabled the scientists to turn their attention to other models. They say carbon fibers offer enormous potential. Concrete is clunky and heavy and not really suitable for living rooms. But the use of carbon means that we can now create quite slim components, like chairs, armchairs and tables. Textile concrete looks set to give engineers and designers a completely new tool to express their ideas. Who knows what masterpieces will be created in the future from this versatile yet extremely robust material.